Hello and welcome to this edition of The Boston Show. I'm your host, Francesco Tarthalia. Last week in Boston, Rosendale Village Main Streets cut the ribbon on their newly opened craft beer cellar. Located in the basement of the historic Rosendale substation, the new store has beer from over 15 states and nine different countries. I think we can all agree now that this is a phenomenal place and it's a phenomenal thing for Rosendale. This ribbon cutting marks the first time the Rosendale substation space has been occupied in over 30 years. The Boston Fire Department dedicated five new ladder trucks at the Ladder 4 Firehouse in Dudley Square in Roxbury. Fire Commissioner Joseph Finn was there to mark the occasion. David Walsh, his team, and uh, our apparatus committee worked really hard making sure we designed these trucks to fit the needs of, Bos of Boston. These five new ladders complete the delivery of nine new ladders in the past year with almost 50% of the Boston Fire Department's fleet being replaced. Dorchester residents Isabel and Andre Gomes cut the ribbon on their new Cape Verdean restaurant, Churrascaria Valcao. The opening featured a packed house as Mayor Walsh and City Councilor Michael Flaherty attended the celebration. This will be the fifth Cape Verdean restaurant in Dorchester and the second business owned by the Gomes family. Boston Latin School hosted the city's annual Boston Cares MLK Day of Service kickoff. This event engaged 750 volunteers of all ages in portable volunteering projects that will benefit more than 1,000 Boston Public School students. We've all joined together today for this National Day of Service in the spirit of Martin Luther King Jr. and what he called the beloved community. Projects that will be completed throughout the day include building and assembling 500 robotic kits, 750 math flashcard sets, three 3D classroom periodic tables, and constructing 35 twin beds for students who do not have a bed of their own. By working hard together, we can make life better for everyone in our city, our state, and our country. And we need to keep Dr. King's spirit alive. Trained volunteer leaders served as table captains for each action station, facilitating project creation and leading discussions on Dr. King's teachings. City officials and local community leaders gathered at Faneuil Hall to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This annual event honors the iconic civil rights leader by uniting communities through music, spoken word, and history. We strive to live by Dr. King's example every single day, but we set this day aside to honor and reflect on the message of equal rights and justice and his call for peace. Keynote speaker for the day was Dr. Evelyn Brooks Higginbottom the national president of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. As we celebrate the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. and as school children recite his I Have a Dream speech and as men and women of all races hold hands and sing we shall overcome, deep in my heart I do believe that we shall overcome someday. Musical tributes to Dr. King featured family-friendly classical and spiritual pieces performed by Boston Youth Symphony Orchestra's intensive community program. The Dimmick Community Health Center held a groundbreaking ceremony for their seawall restoration project. This project will revive Dimmick's historic seawall building and expand the number of inpatient detox treatment beds from 30 beds to 40. Recognized nationally, the center offers residents of Boston convenient access to high-quality, low-cost health care and human services that might not otherwise be available to the community. Imagine Boston 2030 and the Boston Planning and Development Agency hosted a discussion entitled Driving Our Growth, Boston's Immigrant Population. The night was an opportunity for residents to learn more about Boston's future and for the city to share new data and trends. To watch any event covered in its entirety, stay tuned to Boston City TV. And to watch all new episodes of The Boston Show, tune in at 11 a.m. on Saturday mornings. Thanks for joining us for this edition of The Boston Show.